What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Space Pirates and Zombies 2 where I think the game is trying to get our feet wet with messing with factions now and so having no other real option we gotta decide if we want to be on the blue team or the green team. I'm going with the green team because their territory doesn't look like a shoe. Doesn't it look like Buzz Lightyear's foot? <laughs> I don't know. That's what their territory looks like and I'm sorry I can't put my faith in a nation that looks like Buzz Lightyear's foot. So let's go ahead and side with green I guess. This is a raid right here. A neighboring starbase is deploying a raiding party. The current starbase owner will appreciate it if you wipe them out. The raiding party, not really so much. I don't know how tough they're going to be. It looks like they have like lots of little ships that are probably going to hurt my face off if I do this. But it looks like I'm jumping in. Maybe there's some guys on my side too. I don't know. Let's fight! I like to imagine that there's kind of like Braveheart music in the back. I'm like, ah. You know what the definition of insanity is? Well, it's not doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I checked the dictionary. However, it is literally the definition of practice. We have all practiced this over and over. Now let us drop those training wheels and execute. Practice is irrelevant. The command and control system is smarter than the sum of all brain matter on board. Simply change the pre-configured weapon configuration to my experimental baggle wagon mode. This ship's weapon systems will track and fire independently, unfettered by human ineptitude. You can override the battle wagon target control by pressing the fire button. You can customize weapon groups and battle wagon target priority in the main weapon configuration menu located in the options menu. Okay. I want everybody out there. Let's go ahead and attack. Why do they look like Mr. Garrison's motorcycle? Eh, whatever. Not gonna concern myself with it. It is time for us to do some battle damage. Oh, yeah. It's time to now shoot. Hopefully we will destroy some shit. Oh, yes. I have annihilated a thing. Man, I am the best at this. We are fantastic at this game. Wait, have I already lost one of my little dudes? Oh, no, they're all right. All right, we have graduated from inanimate material. The ship's a tenth of our size. It's a baby step, but I'll take what I can get from this bunch. Are we done burning bugs with a magnifying glass? All right, good. Let's carry on. Second start of the aft. <laughs> They made a, they made a Peter Pan reference. Is everyone dead though? Did we kill everybody? I think we killed everybody. I think murder went pretty well for us in that case. I thought we were going to get our asses whooped too. That guy looks like he's got a little bit of particulate matter coming off the back of him though. Hmm. Let's head on that. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. We've got, how do I do the shieldy thing again? I've already forgotten all my buttons. So weapon groupings, it looks like we got missiles, we've got everything that's on cooldown. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I mean, I guess if you're into that sort of thing. Pachoo, pachoo! Oh, I fired missiles out of my booty hole and now they're flying at an asteroid. Well, that's kind of cool though. And that's just fired everything, I guess, I don't know. It's not really labeled so well. I like how we fire at a focal point and then it crosses all over and just scatters all over the place. It's pretty sweet. We can hypercharge our shield through there. Can we hypercharge and boost at the same time? I almost ran into my own ship. I apologize. These things happen from time to time. Yes, to the star map. Thank you. So we didn't get anything for that, but it probably made these guys pretty happy that we helped out. I mean, it probably assisted in some way, I would hope. Now that we've achieved a base level of technological excellence, I see no reason to tow around this useless garbage. Trade, steal, kill, rinse, repeat. If I have to look at this eyesore much longer, I will guide your eyes out. Or gouge, gouge. I don't know what gouge means, but gouging sounds a little bit more violent than gouging. Buy better parts for your mothership. Avoid using junk parts. Every starbase has a junkyard you can visit if you need junk parts for free. Every starbase has arena events you can use to win resources needed to buy better parts. Alright, so it now just tells us generically to get better. Become more tactically sound at the activities that we take part in. Scan and view. I would like to know some more Lore. The Titan Gates were created late during the Lockdown Wars. Their intended function was to further segregate the inner and outer worlds as an unbreakable gate. Instead of using an encrypted key code, Titan Gates had absolutely no power source requiring it to be spooled up manually by an energy beam transfer. 
The beam itself was encoded to ensure that even if one was to amass the astronomical power needed, it would still disallow access. For a time, the Titan gates were successful, until Carl Memford devised a way to use the clockwork's deflector array as an accessor, resulting in the now famous breach incident, which had far less to do with pants than one would think. I... Well, I mean, it looks like things... So, what is up with this red ring over here? It looks like there's, like, a battle fight going on or something. They're being attacked by Mr. Void. It'll probably be over by the time I get over there, but it looks like bandits are definitely having issues with some of the things that are taking place. Let's help out with this raid right here. So, we are going neighboring starbases, deploying a raiding party here. The current starbase owner will appreciate it if you wipe them out. The owner of the raiding party, not so much. So, do I, like... How do I assist them in taking, like, an entire sector, though? I don't think I'm allowed to fight right there. It won't let me. It's like only one person's allowed to jump in on the fight at a time. Oh, it's not shaped like Buzz Lightyear's. Well, he's kind of got, like, a rocket booster on his foot now. So how angry are they going to get if I continually just, like, let this happen? Faction info. Who's mad at us right now? Sovereignty of science is not feeling us. The miners conglomerate. Eh, they kind of like us. Civilian Ascendancy might be down for the cause, though, a little bit later. Oh, look, she's got, like, a little kitty foot on her helmet. Well, I'm glad we sided with them, then, because kitty foots are what I'm all about. The Draco Sector. Looks like I've got an option to repair something over here. Can I make my own faction? wonder if I can make my own faction eventually. I bet I can. It's going to be pretty baller, too, once we do it. Scan and view! Once Earth's neon green oceans burned brighter than the visible sun, humanity collectively decided it was time to find a new home. Pushing the very limits of science, mankind molested the fabric of space-time to create artificial wormholes. These wormholes allowed the transportation of matter across huge distances, though it required a reliable exit connection. An automated starship was sent to the nearest neighboring star, Alpha Centauri, to construct one such connection. Following the 250-year journey, the first warp gate was established, and humanity quickly fled the rotting Earth to the off-world colony. All right, let's go up and get some res, shall we? I think we might need some more fuel before this goes completely and totally wrong on me. It's only 28, but hey, it's better than nothing considering we go through two to three of it every time we get around. Oh, getting better requires us to go over here. All right, so I guess that's an actual objective rather than the game just kind of passively making fun of us and being like, you suck. Scan and view that guy right there. It's about the Void Militia. After the UTA lost control over the Core Worlds, the Void Militia stepped in to maintain an order of the general population of these orphaned planets. For a time, they honored their visions of peace, but as res supplies ran out, they too turned to salvage and mercenary work to survive. They look at the other factions as a hindrance to the peace progress, and ultimately aim to conquer them with superior military might. Or migot, as it's said in some places. Let's see here. We can fight in the arena. We can trade. I mean, we've got a bunch of parts in here, so I don't know which is better than what we've got going on. That one appears to sell for... That has a 10% rarity. Noses are platforms. Okay, so technically I could probably slap on that nose and do better. It looks like it has better electrical transmission than what we have already. The droop nose. Over on this side, it looks like we can put a right glider on. And that looks like it maybe gives us extra health. Or something. Yeah, it adds health to the whole thing. So the hairpin looks like it gives us... Like a better repair rate or something, maybe? Yeah, I think that's the repair rate. If I remember from the first game properly, the amount of goons you had on board made you repair or something like that. We've also got a rear grin, which increases... A bunch of our stats. It actually makes us quite a bit better than the retro that we've already got. So it's probably worth equipping. That is a two-star rarity tang. Which I assume is better than the ones that we already have. I'll probably try to buy a couple more of those too. That'd be super badass if we could make that happen, Cap'n. Simultaneously, though, I need to figure out how we assemble our ship. So ship assembly. We've got all of our parts here. That one is the droop, so I gotta get rid of you. We'll slap on the droop. This guy right here was the rear grin, which I think goes in right... 
There we go, and so apparently we now have balls on the back of our ship. We could also attach one of those port glider rights if we really wanted to. And I think it's probably a decent plan because it does look to be better than what we got going on right now. Although that gives me some battery and some other stuff too, whereas that does not give battery. Oh, never mind. There we go. She ain't purdy, but she'll do for right now. She ain't purdy at all. Back to the star map. We'll sell off whatever's left over. Meat hook is a junk part. In fact, everything we have right now is probably a junk part. So I can't really get rid of it right now. So instead, we've got our inventory here. And our junk parts... I would say just leave it in the scavenge field. So we're not carrying around the extra weight. I don't see any point in carrying around a bunch of shit we're not going to use anyways. We've got... What's our markup here? 121%. That's not too bad. Could be worse. We can get a... Don't want engines, don't want noses. So it doesn't look like he's got any extra strike craft. I'd like to have a few more, just so we could fight a bit better. Can't harvest any res over there, but we can help out with any raids that are taking place. There's a threat to... Oh, threat 35, never mind. It says 2 on it, so I reasonably assume that perhaps... It would be problematic there. Let's go beat up some bandits or something. Yeah, let's join the uh, Queen Spectre. Hey, you are quite welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. I appreciate that. It's nice to know that people in the galaxy have manures. All right, we're going after these dudes. Let's get them. Let's get them. It's time. Oh, we got them with the lasers now. Yup, if it's in range, let them have it. When it blows up, how bad is it going to hurt me? Oh, pretty badly. Pretty ridiculously badly. That was really upsetting. We should repair, though, I think. Shields are back online. How bad is this looking right now? Is it looking really, really bad, or are we still okay? I don't see any loot around, so let's go back to the star map and see what we pulled out of this wreckage. We will take all. It looks like most of it. Well, I don't actually want the goons. But I would love to transfer that shit over. So that'll be nice. And it looks like the Tesseract now likes us. Some people like us a little bit better just because we assisted with the combat there. I feel alright about it. Do I have to pay a tax if I harvest off their shit over here? Kind of interested in finding out. I have no idea how that goes down. So what did that do? Did they charge me taxes, or did it hurt my rep at all? I don't think that it did. Ain't nobody needing goons right now, that's for certain. I don't know if I want to buy parts or what I want to do. Looks like we got res mines and some other little stuff over here. We could definitely get after some scrap, and so I would recommend that right there. Just make a beeline for that scrap. Yeah, 93 scraps worth. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all right there. We almost got 100 out altogether. Green faction is fighting with somebody over here. Who's the other captain? Granny Ruiner. Oh, never mind. They're harvesting off a Granny Ruiner. <laughs> this Granny has been soiled. It has been used. I no longer desire it. Away from me, Granny. Markup's a little high over here. But let's say we've got some wings. We've got a port glider right, which comes with missiles. What engines do we have? We have the South Beak, which looks like it is way better than what we had previously. 
What do we have as our engine right now? Let's have a look. We've got the rear grin. It's kind of expensive, though. It's a little expensive. The yacht has weak beams and strong missiles. Well, I think I would like one of those. Oh, it's because I still have the South Beak in there, so I'll take that yacht, that yacht. What else do I have flagged up? Oh my god, I'm clicking on all kinds of stuff here. Let's take a couple missile ships, yeah? Sounds pretty good to me. Load those bad boys up. I like missile ships a lot, like things that fire just like Hornet missiles all over the place. Oh, that res is ready to go. Hope they don't mind. I don't think they care. I think we're good. And that gives us a rating of 5. Getting better probably is going to require us to go all in on some new parts. But I feel like that's better done by fighting and just messing with other people than anything else. They are hostile to me right now. Let's go see if we can't find some raids in here. Let's jump in on Admiral Blorf's side. See if we can make Green love us a little bit better, although that may cut off some of our access to... So how many of these things can I put out at the same time? Can I only equip like two? I want to shoot before it's all over. Yay! I got to shoot a thing! It appears to me as though... It appears to me as though our ship needs repairs. I don't know exactly the rate that occurs at, but... It appears as though our energy generation is so good that we don't lose energy or anything while we're running around. So with you guys, is there anything... Oh shit, did some of my parts get blown up? I think some of my parts got blown up. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like we lost a couple chunks of our ship in that last explosion. What do we have over here? What is that? It's a wing? Alright, we'll put the wing on then. There we go. Take that shit. Is that like a left wing? It's a mandolin right. That piece is not looking so good right there. Maybe I'll knock that one off. It's looking a little rough, am I right? And then we'll put this guy on right here. Because it'll be better than the last one. And it makes us color-coded. Who doesn't want to be color-coded? And what are you? That is a droop nose. Okay. I don't think I need a droop nose right now. That one's got a missile on it, though. Eh. We got lasers on that side. We got like a little machine gun on that side. I kind of like the machine guns. Zero battle scavenge. Transfer all, I guess. And then is there a way for me to, if I'm assembling right here, is there like a scrap field? Yeah, there should be a scrap field, right? Unless that other guy took the parts, but we are... We are lacking bits at the moment. We are definitely lacking some bits. I'm a little concerned. We may have problems. That and we got no salvage from that last throwdown either, which is not not something that I want to be involved with. There we go. I think we just pissed them off. I think we just pissed off Blue. Wow, that's a big battle right there that's taking place. They've got like a 36 coming in though. That's a pretty badass ship. That's a ship that knows how to hurt, and I don't know if I want to be involved with that. Well, I can repair. Well, then... Repair, yeah, repair. Do your thing. So if I wanted some subcores, what do you have? You have habitat decks? These are kind of expensive. I need to make some money. We are broke. Alright, let's go find some scrap fields. We got this. Scrap fielding time and floating through the blackness of space. I don't feel like I've traveled that far. But according to the game, I totally have. There's a little bit of scrap right there. I mean, the best scrap would come from murder, though. That's what I would suggest first. 
is that maybe we consider the option of just like shooting people and taking their stuff. All right, you discovered a remnant of the past, Admiral Jackson. For over 30 years, Jameson has served as a high-level commander of the UTA. He fought in over 200 engagements during the Lockdown Wars, three of which were successful. <laughs> Jameson earned a great deal of recognition after tracking the renegade Don Gibson during the breach incident. Jameson single-handedly thwarted the infectious outbreak following the breach, later earning him a Galactic Medal of Amazing. He is a prime example of a perfect human being. 5% chance of file tampering detected. A little bit of scrap to be had right there. Hmm, there's a yellow faction over here. And they were all yellow. I'm gonna ransack that real quick. Get myself a little bit of scrap a lap a dang down. Might as well grab you while I'm here. The Anti Potty Mouth Initiative. Human history is riddled with examples of recurring themes, throwbacks, revolutions, and revelations. One such reoccurrence is the use of colorful metaphors to heighten one's emotional resonance. While it had been commonplace for even kindergarten children to swear and curse for nearly a millennia, it has recently become a taboo. The Anti Potty Mouth Initiative is a communal funded program aimed at refining the human language while increasing the speaking efficiency of removing filler slang. The initiative overall has been very successful, while the proposed gore and violence reduction program has not received a single vote. The Friends Don't Shoot Friends in the Face program isn't even expected to make it to voting season. Alright, a little bit more something something. Oh, we leveled up to level 3. We can get a new core slot. 4. It increases the girth of our mothership by increasing the maximum amount of core modules. So we got that for free. In the meantime, I would probably take armor plus 20%. Why not? Oh, there's a red faction over here too. Oh, this dude. He just jacked so much of our shit. Let's go take his stuff. Yep, we're gonna fight him. This guy's going down. He said he doesn't believe in violence, but that doesn't matter because I do. And I dictate what happens out here in the void. Alright, go fight that target right there. My hope is that we can focus fire better than they do. Oh, shields are offline. Shields are offline. We gotta return fire. Gotta return fire. Alright, go get him, chiefs. Go get him. Actually, get the big guy first. Get the big guy. I need my shields back up, like right this. Oh, shit balls. We are taking portions of damage right now. I believe we may also be swapping out core batteries and shit. I'm going to give it a minute to recharge, although it doesn't appear to be helping that much. Yeah, especially if missiles decide to deal with us here. There we go. Shields are back up. Well, we got to recharge it. Is he sending out little, like, seeker droney things? You know what? Forget it. This jabroni's gonna get blasted. I'm messing around with shields too much. This guy gotta go. Come on. Oh, the next one zones in after you get done? That's kinda good. That is a pleasing and satisfactory solution. Yeah, swap that shit out. See if maybe we can help ourselves here. Let the escort vessels deal with it for a second or two. Hmm. So obviously it did not go so well for us. But this guy was trying to take our loot and he needed to die.
Come on, die. There we go. Ranger Lodson doesn't know us like that. And apparently the area is clear. What is this? We've got a slicer left. Yeah, put it on. Because we don't even have a wing over there, so you might as well. We also got a port glider left. Get rid of the discount shit. We don't want any junk parts on here. We want real parts. Yay, we're cannibalizing. Who doesn't enjoy a good little bout of cannibalism every now and again? So what is that? That's a South Beak weapon platform. It's a watch spire, so that's a subcore. That's a subcore right there. And that's a mandolin right. So now that I've dragged those in a little bit closer, I can get rid of one of my default spots. We'll take the mandolin right. Oh, it's a hairpin left. Where was the other one? Mandolin right. There we go. And so that's got cannons on it. Oop, that's not what I wanted. As for the rest of these subcores, I think I should probably... I should probably install them. So you go over there. How do I install new subcores? Can I take them and attach them? Oh, I can. Okay, so let's center some of these up. Because they will be helpful. And wait, what the shit is that? Is that like a back part right there? It's a south beak. Oh, it's an engine. Okay. What engine do I have at the moment? Here, disassemble everything. So that right there is my central core. Now what we need. We got port glider. We have a brick post. Subcores are used to expand the size of your ship, so let's go with the brick post. Right there. That little bastard is all kinds of roughed up, so I don't even know if I want it back. I mean, I suppose I could just make it bigger. Seems alright to me. Put the wings back on. That is on the back. It gives you a fly-by-wire shield-disrupting ion missile. Eh. Semi-interested, but at the end of the day, not that interested. Oh, our ship just got bigger and better and still kind of roughed up, though. It's still not looking so great for our ship. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, but we got a little bit larger. We got like a caterpillar-like thing going on right now that... I think I'm on board for. To the star map! We will take all of the res and all of the scrap, the goons we don't really need, the watch spire, sure, why not? We will take... What is that? Trip feeder left. Wings are weapons platforms. That's got an omni laser. A direct fire emitter which tracks targets across a wide arc. And that one fires missiles. Take all of them. We'll sell them later on. Oh yeah, back by popular demand, more scheduled combat drills. Now that we have some decent weapons, let's cut our teeth on a live fire exercise. As in, we will be shooting at living things. Now before you get your long johns in a bunch, listen, we're simply going to rub out a few bandits. I'm going to find a suitable target and we're going to find out what this ship is made out. I don't want to rub out anything right now. I'm in space. I can't, I can't relax. I could have sworn I was the captain of this ship yesterday. This has got to be the last examination. You do remember we saved the entire galaxy, don't you? If there was one thing I've learned about people is that they have infinite ambition to do as little as possible. Your brain might be a muscle, but so is your trigger finger. If you do not practice, your trigger finger might forget all the things it once knew. What? Okay, whatever. Let's just get this over with. 
I don't like to keep too many murders in my inbox. Find a bandit. Kill that bandit. Do it in faction territory to get relations. Hooray! We're also out of time for the day. So anyways, I will see you all later with our level up. My name is Splattercat. This is Space Pirates and Zombies. Duh. I will see you. Bye, everybody.